Hello everyone, we welcome Deepak Taneja ji once again on this platform. Today we are going to discuss with him a very sensitive topic for women, breast cancer. With the rampant rates of uh, breast cancer in India and abroad, this is a topic that really does pull our attention towards it. And Deepak Taneja ji has done a lot of work on it. So we'd like him to share his experience with it. A very hearty welcome to you, uh, Deepak ji. Namaskar. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the breast cancer. First of all, I would like to tell you about the cancer. What is cancer? From uh, That is most important. First, we must understand what is cancer. Cancer is a group of diseases involving abnormal growth of cells with the potential to invade or spread to the other parts of the body. These contrast with the being tumors which do not spread to the other parts of the body. Means that uh, uh, growth of the Benign cancer tumors be, do not is, spread over to any the, other in the uh, area uh, or tissue itself. Right. And uh, possible signs of symptoms include lumps, abnormal bleeding, prolonged cough. Uh, unexplained weight loss and a change of change in bowel movements and yani stomach system will be completely changed digestive system will be suddenly very much be much affected okay so you also feel in when we are talking about breast cancer you also feel that there is a, a change not only on your lymphatic system that you will discuss later but probably also your uh, elimination and digestive systems these these are the symptoms uh, which we can easily understand why there is a sudden so much change in the body and uh, at, after that we must consult our doctors so that they, they must verify whether we have uh, breast cancer or cancer or not uh, so you are saying that if a person undergoes a change in their uh, food habits or in their elimination of the waste material in the body they yeah. should go to a doctor because it is something that abnormal requires... abnormal if if that that is a sudden and very abnormally then we we must discuss doctor okay sir so huh. are we going on to are we um, the, there what? Are the, 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 what are the causes why 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 there, there can be chances of cancer causes are tobacco uh, Obesity, poor diet, or lack of physical activity and or exercise or drinking of alcohol too much. These, these are the uh, causes why cancer is uh, is, is so is, uh, often seen in people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other factors may certain be a certain type of infections, exposure to ionizing radiation and environmental uh, environmental pollution uh, pollutants. Right. Uh, in our body, we have trillions of cells, and uh, on the daily basis, millions of cells uh, they divide itself, and re new cells come in, and the uh, weak, uh, deadly cells they uh, wash out. It is happening by in, in daily basis, and uh, the, our lymphatic glands uh, clear the and control this system, and spleen, the uh, blood bank of the body is the brand that carried out this process means that uh, wherever we need some uh, healthy cells spleen supply its uh, healthy cells to that part of the body and uh, uh, work as a blood bank to the uh, of our body yes uh, so we can say that the spleen what it does is provi provides those hormones which are needed to grow these cells and the cells keep growing uh, in that direction and uh, blood also purifies all that is the waste material in uh, our body and carries it away to the respective kidneys or any other excretory part of the body. Spleen works only on uh, blood cells, mainly okay. on cells. And uh, every cell, we, whatever, we have millions of cells and every cell uh, have a different type of 200 to 250 type of uh, functions. Activities. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, it is uh, even uh, science don't uh, don't have clear indication ki which uh, function is uh, more on in a that type of a cell or which which function is less. Even they are also working on it. 
breast cancer is a cancer that develops from breast tissues signs of breast cancer may include lump in the breast lump is lump is a uh, what we call uh, uh, in hindi is uh, gathan or it, it's a yes it's a lump which is very uh, much evident and women over 40 nowadays are requested and are actually always told to go and visit a doctor after every year at least or within 2 years because there are likely chances of the the statistics show a growth of breast cancer in women after the age of 40 so you should uh, keep on your checkups at a regular basis the symptoms of breast cancer include a lump in the breast bloody discharge from the nipple and changes in the shape of the texture of the nipple or breast or sometimes even the skin gets yellow sometimes the there there can be another uh, uh, nipple in the uh, breast uh, uh, which is formed okay sir huh. yeah. there, there there is possibilities but it varies from person to person uh, every symptom will not be same to the uh, each and every person there may be some symptoms in some uh, someone else and there may be some symptoms in the someone else the breast cancers hum uh, uh, from the lagna uh, as per astrology if we go to the breast cancer case uh, lagna and lagna lord is most important and uh, uh, scorpio sign scorpio sign is a sign where we know that he, there is uh, so much of the uh, diseases so many of the diseases which are not easily curable long lasting diseases uh, uh, the diseases which are uh, which are creating challenge to the life longevity of the life and uh, which, which are which are which are uh, uh, spoiling the every uh, happiness of the life jo uh, hai we, we see those uh, diseases from the 8th uh, house 8th house lord and scorpio sign and mars so they are they are uh, actually not allowing the person to live properly neither the person can die properly yeah uncurable yeah long uh, long uh, uncurable yeah uncurable and uh, which is which has a very long period to uh, as you said just now it's about longevity so a person will be affected the longevity of the person may not be affected but the effectivity of the person would be very much affected as we know that, as we know that the eighth house is the cause of the uh, life uh, uh, cause exactly. of the death of the uh, the person is we, we see from the eighth house right it's very important uh, we see the, the cause of the death from the eighth house and the if the uh, eighth house is badly damaged and badly affected the person we can very easily uh, know that the longevity plus the reasons of the uh, cause of the right. death and the fourth house is the place where we see that the, the there is a, a lord is moon and fourth house uh, fourth house lord it is also very important for the diseases uh, this cancer disease even lungs and or all these type of diseases it is important third house is also uh, uh, required for the some reasons that uh, we we know that the start of the breast cancer is seen from the uh, let me say say Uh, sides of the arms jo under arms right. sides of the under arms there there Arms-based. is a lump, lump is there in the side of the uh, under arms is right. found in a, it, it is a, uh, first jo symptom is that the lump is seen there and after that it uh, moves to the right. breast yes and uh, cancer sign moon venus and mercury is very important for the Uh, this breast type cancer. of breast cancer sir you have also stated that the women have it but even men have so you have a percentage of men also who can suffer from this yeah 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 uh, it is more than 8 90 95% women are affected by this disease but 5 to 7% are men also uh, we have seen that they are also having breast cancer but the symptoms have slightly different than the women have okay sir jupiter is the significant uh, significator of the being uh, it's systematic and remain up to in the tissue of the origin every type of disease uh, which is 
which is we uh, which we say that growth uh, expansion for every type of disease jupiter is the significator but it re uh, remain within the area of that and if there is a hazard and uh, unsystematic growth in the uh, cancer to uh, starting from any uh, part of the body and going to any uh, uh, other parts of the body that is that comes under the signification of the rahu rahu so sir another question here i would like to ask you is that if for jupiter say supposing somebody has benign cancer mm. so that that lump is not disturbing anything else it's just present there like we have some warts in on the face somebody has it or after some age people start developing warts on their backs mm. so if we do not treat it it mm. will it rahu may not affect it if it gets treated it will start expanding more because even jupiter will expand so you remove that it might get more expansion you can leave it it remains but if if we do something uh, some remedies and go to the right doctors and then if we it is treated properly then they can be uh, cured okay sir hmm. and uh, then you uh, did you've talked about uh, moon which is the major significator of cancer yes. uh to be considered and also moon rules the fourth house of the natural zodiac making it much more effective yeah because that is the zone which consists of the chest and the uh, breast and all these organs yeah. the lungs bosoms bosoms of the ladies jo yes sir that is ruled by moon right sir hmm. we come to this example chart where we see that jupiter and moon the karaka of uh, cancer and the factor responsible for the expansion of cancer are sitting together in the house of disease the sixth house the lord of the sixth house mars is in the eighth house retrograde and with another karaka malignant karaka of uh, cancer breast cancer uh, that is rahu that so that becomes a factor to be considered here you see that here you see that the moon the most important planet is in debilitation in 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 the roga house of roga yes, and sir. the dispositor is in the eighth house yes sir and expected by saturn eighth lord sorry the 12th yes. house yes sir and saturn is ex, ex, uh, is uh, expecting uh, uh, karak rashi cancer sign yes. sun venus and ketu yes from the third eyes yes and sir even uh, saturn is expecting the 11th uh, uh, aquarius sign and ninth house right. mars mars is expecting 11th house yes sir and fourth Uh, uh, cancer sign and uh, mercury mars is retro here and it will even expect lagna and venus and uh, sun and ketu second time after even uh, uh, being retro yes sir so every planet is badly damaged by the qualities of the the planets having mars. having uh, mars is having the quality of sixth Eighth and eleventh. Mars is also uh, aspecting the fourth lord. Mars is also aspecting the fourth. Yeah, lord. yeah, yeah. We that's why I said fourth lord is also aspected by that. Right. Mars is the signi. Mars and Ketu is the significator of lump. Right. And uh, here we we see that it is in the eighth house and badly damaged with the uh, in with the Rahu uh, having the qualities of Rahu eighth house. Sixth house and eleventh house. Mars is badly damaged. Right, sir. Sir, in this case, we always do advise people. We in fact insist that please just do not follow the remedies given by us. Uh, you need to consult a doctor because this is something which is a purview of a surgeon of a doctor. However, the remedies given here are to facilitate finding a proper doctor. receiving the grace of god and also making it possible for you to do something good that could enhance or uh, change a part of your uh, 
problems and it could give it a better shape you have explained in a very good way uh, it's too good uh, you, you have explained it's in a very good way uh, we are not substitute of any doctor we are not uh, here to give wrong advices uh, first of all whatever the remedies do remedies help in finding good doctor finding blessing of the god and third the uh, getting uh, uh, correct treatment effect of medicines properly that's all we are not here we can't claim ki we are here to uh, they, after uh, doing the doctors you don't need any doctor it is wrong first of all uh, i i always suggest a person uh, who whoever come to me to uh, ha- we we have every uh, planet uh, within us and around us i always tell person to change himself herself and Uh, build good relation with the uh, uh, relations with people nearby us and respect them with uh, pure heart true heart and uh, help them unconditionally help them and act like a father uh, to a person you will you will build your son if if you act like a mother to a person then you will help in uh, uh, strengthening your mood better yes strengthening or betterment of your mood if you uh, guide a person to a right direction then you are helping your jupiter to get better if you learn uh, unconditionally with with dedication with respect from a person and uh, you follow the indi- uh, instructions from a person uh, unconditionally without arguments without uh, ego then you you are uh, uh, helping you to to get better these are the way and if you are having good relation with your friends cousins neighbors then you are helping mercury to get better if you are uh, respecting your mother uh, motherly ladies you are uh, helping your moon to get better if you are respecting son father government you are following the rules and regulations of the country you are respectable uh, you are giving respect to the authorities uh, nearby you then you are helping your uh, son to get strong if you are help, uh, if you are following your uh, ma- uh, boss unconditionally then you are helping ma- mars to get better if you are uh, true to your husband for a female then uh, you are helping your uh, mars to get better if you are uh, honest and uh, respectable loving to your wife then you are helping your venus to get better these are the simple way and after that the remedies of uh planets through mantras and through dan uh, donations then uh, if you follow all together then the result will be much much better than the uh, normal way sir uh, so uh, this person should have donated blood because it's the sixth lord in the eighth house and interchange yeah. so or given a lot of donations because it's also the 11th lord in the eighth house yeah yeah, yeah. however blood transfusion at this moment or uh, donation would not be possible because the person would have had breast cancer which is yeah. you not not be possible no it's not possible but uh, i think if they have done it an uh, earlier healthy time then it is good for them okay so if you can understand that you have the symptoms you do it that's better it will help you control your diseases at a later date but yeah. if as of now if it's not possible then the other remedies that one can do are sir uh, ma'am a donation of uh, bricks donation of bricks to the temple say uh, uh, temple uh, belonging to hanuman ji okay ha uh, then kartike ji hanuman ji that that will give uh, much much uh, relief to the person yes. donation uh, bricks donation properly bricks donation okay or our land piece of a land donated to the uh, for the construction of a temple of hanuman ji can also give relief to them okay sir and then also as you had uh, earlier mentioned to the salvation army or the for the army yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this uh, that is also there uh, if they donate something to the army uh, uh, army and uh, the uh, for the welfare of the families of the army even then that also will give, give the help to the um, mars mars here these remedies very effective and not very much to ask for deepak teneja ji comes out with beautiful pieces of advice for all of us that can be followed they're not very difficult to follow 
and yet leave behind a good legacy. Maybe we feel that we are not that cured, but our karma have been good and we will definitely be repaid for it at some later date. So, uh, sir, thank you very much once again. Thank you to you. And if you have liked our video, if you, uh, if you want to share it, please do share the knowledge further. Anybody who wants consultation from Deepak Ji, he is available on the given uh, phone number and the given email ID. If you can help us spread this knowledge and somebody gets to benefit from it, it will be our good deed. Thank you so much.